G'day YouTube, this is just a quick video to show you guys how to install the latest Linux kernel in Linux Mint 18.3. Now it uh, comes down to what's the latest available with the repositories but I'll show you now. So what you do need to do is go to the update manager in your start menu there. Now full disclaimer, when you're dealing with desktop environments or Linux kernels or anything of that nature, definitely back up your important data before you do something like this. The last thing I want you guys is to lose all your data. So basically we've got the update manager open as step one. Uh, what we do need to do is go to view Linux kernels next. So let's uh, see, proceed with caution, just like I've told you, that's all good, continue. Now basically you'll see a whole bunch of uh, kernels here as uh, potential options. Most recently, uh, at the moment of this video, you'll probably find uh, you've got something like uh, 4.10 something installed, which isn't definitely not the latest. We've got later ones as we can see here. Uh, mine says installed here, but not active. Uh, before I did this video, I went across and uh, installed the latest one I could find. Uh, that doesn't show active as well, but uh, let's see if we just start fresh. In fact, even before we do any of this, let's see what kernel I in fact have in my... Great, great. So I've got this one here. Uh, just the one that uh, just shows it's installed. So let's just choose another one at random, uh, just so I can show you guys, and I'll click on this one here. Install, do you want to install this one? Yeah, just click yes, go ahead, throw in your password, let it authenticate, and give it a moment. Let's see, it's downloading packages, as you expect. Now this might take just a hot second, but uh, once this is done, it'll go, of course, in, have to install it. Uh, Probably best uh, with uh, with Linux, any Linux mints these days, uh, just to just to restart after or log out, log back in after you've done the uh, the kernel update, and you can confirm that it is updated through uh, that simple little command I did a moment ago. So let's clear the screen again. It's just the uname command dash a dash a shows everything. So uh, a whole bunch of things really here, and include in and not limited to the Linux kernel number, which is right here, right after the host name. So uh, let's see. Uh, let's uh, see if that loads for us as the video is uh, going ahead here. Might take a little longer than expected, but um, yeah, we'll give it a moment. No, nope, probably taking too long. But uh, it is tried and tested. Having said that, disclaimer with all my videos, do make sure you back up your data before dealing with uh, kernel updates or um, indeed desktop environment updates or anything like that. But yeah, specifically for something like what we're doing in this video. So, uh, as I'm blabbering on, and if you are still listening, uh, let's see if this continues to work for us. No, it's probably taking a bit too long for the video, but uh, like I said, log out or restart, turn off, turn back on, and uh, make sure you can see the kernel version, that it will be updated to the latest one. Uh, always run good to run this command first to see that you, what the old version that you do have, what it is. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good one. Okay, ciao.